What's up Ocean, you got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Milotic, and welcome to the start of a brand new series. Today we are covering a ton of different Pokemon. This is a series I've had in the works for a long time. If you guys know Joey Pokegame, which obviously you do, um, he created a series called the Pokemon Spotlight. And about three days before it came out, I the first episode came out, I sent a message on Twitter to a graphics artist um, to say, hey, can you create a series package for me called Pokemon Spotlight? And three days later, Joey comes out with his, and I was like floored. So I was trying to create a new name, a new like uh, basically identity for the series, and I finally did. It's called Pokemon Profile, and first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Roshan for for creating the graphics for this series he did the layout and he did the uh the what is it called the thumbnail his link will be in the description below now basically this series is going to be a guide to competitive pokemon in five minutes or less so in five minutes or less we are going to cover everything about necrozma or whichever pokemon we're going to be covering in the draft league format in the competitive format whatever it is and Basically, we're just gonna have fun with it, discuss stuff, talk about stuff. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, if you guys are excited for the start of a brand new series, oh my god, it's been forever since we got a new series, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I make a ton of competitive Pokemon content that I'm sure you will all love and enjoy. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, Necrozma is an incredibly powerful Pokemon. It was actually in my top 10 Pokemon in the Draft League format overall. And honestly, I got a lot of flack for it. I got a lot of issues with uh, people saying, oh, it's not that good, it's not that good. Looking at stats, you got 97 HP with 101 defense and 89 special defense. Not an amazing bulk, but you have access to recovery in Moonlight or in Morning Sun. You also have setup on both sides for your defenses in Iron Defense and Calm Mind. That's really important to know because Necrozma is one of the best setup Pokemon in the entire game. And it's honestly very, very, very good at it. It's probably not even close. One of the best ones by far. It's got an amazing ability in Prism Armor, which allows it to take only three quarters damage from super effective attacks. It's basically like Filter. So if you're taking a 100 base power dark move from your Tyranitar Necrozma, in reality, you're only taking a base 75 power dark move. That's really useful to have. It allows you to set up a lot more. Looking at what its stats are outside of its bulk, you got 107 attack and 127 special attack. Now, obviously your special attack is really high, but you do get access to Swords Dance, and Swords Dance just allows you to boost your attack, obviously by two stages, making it so that you can hit things incredibly hard really quickly. Now, not all it does is just set up and win the game. It's an effective Trick Room Sweeper. It's one of the best Trick Room Pokemon out there because it can take a hit and then get up rocks and get up whatever it is, maybe your light screen, maybe your reflect, and just be able to just turn the tide of the game with its support options. It's incredibly diverse in what it could do from sweeping, to supporting, to defending, whatever it may be. You do get Stealth Rocks, which is absolutely incredible. This Pokemon has a lot of really reliable coverage options and really reliable support moves as well. The biggest advantage this thing has for me, or for any team, would be the fact that it gets access to Photon Geyser, which if you didn't know, it's basically Earthquake. It's got 100 power, 100 accuracy. It's actually a physical and a special move at the same time, depending on which stat is higher. So if you're a special Necroz, or sorry, if you're a physical Necrozma and you get intimidated, then you're going to be able to start using a special Photon Geyser, which is actually incredible, the fact that it changes like that. That's just amazing with what it can do in terms of every different aspect and just being unpredictable as well. Looking at the rest of its coverage options, we get moves like Brick Break, we get Dark Pulse, we have Dragon Pulse as well for those pesky dragon types, we have Earthquake and Earth Power, we have Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Iron Head and Knock Off, we get access to Night Slash, Photon Geyser, like I said before, and Power Gem. There's no point in running Psychic, Psycho Cut, or Psyshock anymore with Photon Geyser, unless you're worried about PP stalling, which can be a bit of an issue. We have access to Stone Edge, Rock Slide, and Rock Blast, as well as Shadow Ball and Signal Beam. And to top it off, probably my favorite move that it does get is actually Store Power. Now, Store Power is a move that boosts your attacks, your, well, the power of this move by 20 points for each boost in your stats. So if you go for a, um, a what is it, what's a, what's a Howl, let's say. How boost your attack stat by one stage. That boosts store power by 20 points. So it becomes from a 20 power move to a base 40 power move. So if you're going for Calm Minds, after two Calm Minds, this is a base 100 power special attack 
special psychic attack when you're at plus two special attack. That's incredible. That's just why Necrozma has a ton of different utility to it overall. One of the best things you can do to pair this Pokemon with is probably something that is able to take advantage of very passive Pokemon. Um, another thing that can be useful is something else that can relieve pressure for it defensively and support wise because you don't want it to be taking hits and then try to set up and you don't want to send this and force it to be a a one trick pony every single every single time you play it anyways guys that is what i have for you today for necrozma it's a very short series just gonna be five minutes and less and uh yeah guys if you enjoyed the series make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already also join my personal discord server called the ocean where you can suggest other pokemon for me to cover i have i believe the next four are gonna be the tapus so we're gonna cover those next and after that we'll start taking suggestions but anyways guys thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all next time i forgot to mention the series is completely brand new to me so if you guys have any suggestions to improve it let me know in the comment section below and uh yeah guys that's it for now thank you bye